A few weeks ago I got an ant colony and I gave them a new terrarium. Not much later, the workers were gently dragging the queen with all their force by her antennae into the nest area. Okay, that was not that gently, so naturally the queen was pissed. She said, screw you guys, I'm going home. She went back into the tube. Tunnels in the back of the terrarium are abandoned until the colony is big enough to move back in. This is the first time I'm going to see the colony in a few weeks. They look great. There are eggs and larvae of different ages. And also the queen is doing fine, but she's still pissed. How do I know that she's still pissed? She's a woman. So I'm going to give her a gift. Aphids. Ants love aphids because they produce sugar with their butts. The ants milk this butt juice and in exchange they protect the aphids against predators like the ladybug. Of course I wanted to see my ants eat butt juice from other animals, so I got some aphids. Most people want to get rid of aphids, but not me, who has two thumbs and loves aphids. This guy. Oh right, that only works when I'm on screen, never mind. To transfer the aphids into the terrarium of the ants, I needed to give them a plant to infect. It's hard to fit it in the hole, that's what he said. I'm using this lid so the ants can't get into the dirt of the plant. You probably didn't know this, but as a biologist I can tell you, plants need water. Closing the lid. Yeah, that hole is definitely not big enough for ants to enter. I'm putting the plant in a separate container for a few days. This way the aphids have time to infect it. So far I have only squashed about 20 aphids. Accidentally of course. I will call that a success. Closing the lid and waiting a few days. The aphids have infected the plant and more winged individuals have emerged. They are ready to explore the whole wide world of this tiny terrarium. The whole time I was filming I had the feeling I was being watched. Now back to my very extremely super professional setup. Putting in the plant. I hope so much that is not what she said. Best case scenario, the ants start farming the aphids butts. Worst case scenario, a meteorite lands on earth and we all die. It will probably be something in between. I let the ants do their thing for a few hours and when I came back I saw something amazing. Gotcha. Here was the first interaction between the ants and the aphids. If this ant is milking something, it's the blood of the aphid and not the honeydew from their butt. And as you can see, the ants have no way of getting to the dirt of the plant. Apparently, the ants have no interest in milking the aphids. This is going to be a massacre. Whose idea was this? Oh, right, mine. This one is excited to get this winged aphid back to the nest, but that is easier said than done. I'm still hoping that they're violently dragging the aphids into their nest to take care of them. What do you guys think? Now, there are two options. Option 1, the ants are too stupid to farm the aphids. Option 2, I am stupid and I give them the wrong aphids or something. I saw this ant clip the wings of the aphid so it couldn't get away. That's pretty smart. I guess that means I'm the stupid one. For the next about 20 seconds, viewer discretion is advised. This is an aphid massacre. There goes another one into the nest. At this rate, all aphids will be gone soon. This ant is thinking, why should I drink sugar from someone's butt if I have sugar here? To that, I can only say one thing. Yeah, that's a pretty good point. And don't get mad, but I gave my ants a fly. I checked it for mites, and this is what the ants eat naturally too. I unalived the fly humanely. And the ants were happy with the gift. A single ant was able to lift the fly and another ant on top. Now I know why they are eating instead of milking the aphids, for the gains. These were the last aphids left. Don't worry buddies, I will protect you. Crap. I'm sorry. So to answer the question, did my ants evolve from hunters to farmers? No. I bet you didn't expect that. Colony is growing fast, I will probably move into the terrarium nest area soon. Subscribe if you want to see that move. I'm sorry for the stupid jokes. And I have a great video for you lined up in the end screen. Thank you to all patrons and viewers. Watch this video next.